Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy here at Inland Kenworth in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I really appreciate you being here. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, and I can never say that, but anyways, please do that. Click the button down here, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and let's roll that intro and I'll meet you outside at the truck. All right, so here we are outside. It is almost uh, sundown and it's uh, about four o'clock here on Tuesday of this week. Uh, it's the 15th today. You guys will be seeing this on the 17th, hopefully. Uh, but anyhow, let's take a look at this truck. I'm taking it tomorrow morning uh, out for a four and a half hour drive to deliver it to my customer in Ontario. And uh, I'm hoping to get some shots while I'm driving it down the highway. But uh, let's stop talking about it and let's just start showing it to you. So here it is. Gotta love it. Another W900. This is a 2021. Is my audio on? Yeah, it is. Okay, my audio is on, good. Good to go. Uh, this is a 2021 W900B. So that is the short hood. So you can see right in here. This area is closed in. Uh, you don't have that with the W900L. It's all, you have that uh, extra opening there uh, with a little bit more space in between the axle and the fender. But uh, anyhow, what this truck is, it is set up for hauling milk. Uh, this is a hauling a tanker and uh, it is ordered with legendary red and I wish that it was sunny. Uh, every time I'm showing a legendary color, it's not sunny out. Look at it, it's just lovely, beautiful, crappy gray sky, overcast. Great for taking pictures, no shadows, but it doesn't show off the sparkle. <coughs> the other thing that we uh, did on the fenders here, this is a red effect in the paint. So uh, here, I'll just flick on that light. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I can kind of see it, but there's a little bit of a red metal flake in there just to kind of tie the two together. Uh, I just sold a studio sleeper a few months ago or a month ago, I did a, a video on it. The whole truck was this color. And then we did the frame in that uh, legendary red. So just really beautiful. Love this color. Let's just eat it up. Gotta love it. Uh, some of the things that we did on this truck uh, after the fact, we added on this herd moose bumper. So this is the, uh, the heavy duty herd moose bumper with the lower rake, as you can see right there. Uh, we have a four post system. So it's got the four big posts. You can order a two post, which gives you a tube that runs basically right down there. This is the four post, kind of how it looks. I just love the, the B hood, the grill. It's just so big, it's so tall. I can barely reach it. Like, it's just awesome. You gotta love it. We also added on this aftermarket visor to this truck. So uh, this has the stainless drop visor on there with the uh, four, sorry, with the uh, five marker LED lights on the roof and then the factory LED lights on the fenders right here. We put the elephant ears and we have the 15 inch air cleaners with the bolts inside there. So this top piece here, you push that down, twist it, you open it up, just gives you a cleaner look and you're not getting bug guts all over those bolts. We did the unpainted stainless permit panel. Uh, so that is aluminum, the, the panel is painted. Uh, I like doing it that way, that way you're getting a nice straight line of solid color. I have ordered trucks with this uh, stainless before, just kind of the fad that uh, we're going with these days. Now we did the uh, polished end caps with the diamond plate uh, center on the uh, DPF box right there. And then we have the polished uh, fuel tanks with the seven inch straps that are also polished as well. We did the rear fill for the uh, fuel fill. So that's more of the importance here to get access right here for your filler. 
We did the sleeper cab extensions on here uh, just to improve a little bit of aerodynamics, uh, get a little bit more air around that trailer. Uh, the wheelbase here is a 244 inch wheelbase. And we have the Meritor RT4170. So those are kind of like the Super 40s that Dana makes. Uh, we have full locking differentials back here. There's the, the full diff as well, you can see. Uh, we got the stainless ribbed half fenders, Kenworth eight bag air ride, the AG400 on here, and it's on the Michelin uh, tires. And then we have uh, the aluminum polished rims on the back here. I don't remember if we did Durb rates or not. Uh, no, we did the high polish, which like I've said in previous videos, I prefer it to the Durb rates. You get a little bit higher polish. Now, the one thing about this kind of weather, hey, the sun might poke through and we might get a little bit of a uh, sparkle effect going on here. We'll see. But uh, I'm just all over the map, am I not? Getting back to the polish with the uh, Durabrites, uh, it puts a coating over top of this here, which does give you a five year warranty, which is great. But uh, if you want to get a really, really good polish, the, the high polish uh, is what we did here. And with this winter, I just love how stainless just looks so good and aluminum polish looks so good in winter time, so clean. Gotta love it. The end of frame configuration here, we have the LED taillights on the back here, and we got the stainless uh, mud flap hangers. Now the driver of this truck, Mark, he and I have been talking. Uh, there's a bunch of parts that he ordered from us uh, from Shift Products, and he's gonna be doing it all himself. He wanted to take it on as a project for himself to work on. So this truck is gonna have some more chrome hung on it, uh, some different lights maybe hung on up uh, after the fact. So. Uh, uh, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with it. So what we got going on in the back here, we have the, uh, the flush mounted lights, incandescent bulbs. If you're looking at a new style cab, the 2.1, W990, 880 or 680, you can get these in LED. Not offered in LED on the 900 cab, but we can change those out if you want. Uh, we have the access steps on this side with the deck plate right there. And then uh, there's your S-bar uh, for the bunk. We have another polished fuel tank right here with the seven inch straps, and then the def tank cover right here. And then right down here, we have the diamond plate uh, battery box with the painted end caps. And uh, yeah, let's open up the hood and show you what we got underneath. Now this is a little bit more tricky opening up this type of hood. There's the pin. Oh wait, it isn't tricky. It's got the slam latch and the quick release. So it's really easy to open up. Nice little mechanism right in there, makes it really simple. Now this hood being a uh, W9B, it is a shorter hood. The pivot point is a little bit closer to the cab. It just makes it a little bit easier to open up. I can barely reach it, it's so high up there. And then I don't want to trip and fall. Isn't this fun? Ugh. Here we go. <coughs> okay, so underneath the hood here is the Packard 510 horsepower, 1850 torque. Uh, my customer, McCools, they have been they have a fleet of these uh, engines running, and they're quite happy with how they're how they're operating. Uh, this truck isn't doing a lot of weight either, so it's uh, just doing triaxle milk tanker, so it's not a whole ton of weight. This engine will perform very well for them. Uh, on this side of the engine here, we have the air fill right there. We got the fuel water separator, the Packard heated fuel water separator right there. Uh, down here, we have drum brakes on the front end here. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit about this side. Let's show you around. All right, so here we are on this side. You got your HVAC system right up there, and then uh, nice clean frame right on this side, your turbo, and that's it for the outside. Let's take this inside and uh, finish up the tour. All right, so back to what we got going on here. Got the heat pumping, because it's kind of chilly out. Engine is chugging along outside here. It's about minus 20 Celsius. Winter has arrived. 
So looking across the dash here, I'll show you what, what we've done. Uh, ordered it with power windows on both sides, uh, power mirrors, heated mirrors, uh, which is a must up here. And then uh, we got the power door locks. Down below here, here's the uh, lights flush on the back of the bunk. And then uh, we have the interior lights, the sleeper lights, and then uh, there are the engine fan option there. Uh, right here, we have the adjustment for the brightness on the dash, how bright you want the uh, dash to be. So tomorrow morning, when I'm driving this truck out early in the morning, before the sun is up, uh, I'll be having those adjusted nice and dim, because that's just how I like to run. Uh, okay, shut that light off. I ordered it with the full gauge package all the way across, so you get a nice old school classic look. And then uh, here's the DPF, a couple spares. We have uh, trailer spares wired into a uh, secondary seven pin connector. So that goes to an ISO 3731 uh, connector. And that uh, is to operate uh, various functions on the trailer, right from the dash of the truck. Uh, here is the uh, hazards, traction control, PTO switch, air slide, auxiliary light switch. So that'll get utilized for uh, the under cab lights, uh, air suspension dump, and then the full locking differential right there. We have the heaters, uh, HVAC control right there. Down below here is the uh, logbook holder. Hey, and there's the part number for those that are interested. S16-1007, there's the part number. I had a, somebody commenting on one of my previous videos asking for it, so there you go. Uh, we got the standard uh, cup holder with the additional power outlets right there. That's stock, that's factory. They do that without any option. Uh, we put in the rubber floor mats all the way throughout and we did the black dash. And as you can see the wood grain there, that only means one thing, diamond VIT interior, which is the black interior. Uh, we did a Webasto heater for the engine and then there's a factory S-Bar heater in the bunk. Uh, I did the leather wrap steering wheel, as you can see, with the Jake's and the cruise control right in the steering wheel itself. And then it has an 18-speed manual transmission right there. Uh, there's the new radio system that it comes with. Uh, so it's the Weatherband Bluetooth uh, radio with the uh, USB plug-in right there, AM, FM, all of the above. Uh, let's take a look at the seats here. So I ordered the leather... Uh, ultra leather Sears seat, the Atlas uh, 80s is what they're called. And uh, there's the height adjustment, the lumbar supports, and uh, you get the nice wide base. And they are stowable armrests. So those just kind of flip up and out of the way, like so, nice and easy. Alrighty, so in the sleeper here, we have the rubber floor throughout in the bunk and in the cab. And uh, it comes standard with these two storage pockets. So you get a storage there, open shelf below, and then there is the fridge plug right there. And then uh, this is an additional optional upper uh, storage. And then when you order one, you get it on the other side as well. Uh, in this little red bag, this is the windshield curtain. So this is a curtain that goes around the window. Uh, if you want, it is not standard. You have to order that. So that's what's in that little red bag. And on this side, you have a much larger opening uh, with a little hanger so you can hang or hang a jacket or pants or whatever you want to hang there. Uh, you got more storage right here. And then here is the little cover for the windows. And uh, it's got the windows with the bunk doors in both sides, which is a nice way to do it. And being a flat top or a mid roof, it is still a stand up. So I'm standing up and uh, I got a good, you know, three inches above my head. And then down here, there's the S-Bar control for the sleeper. And then there is the bunk heat control air conditioning in the back here. And then a uh, little panel light and a sleeper light with an alarm clock. That is optional, you have to choose it. Uh, I just spec this uh, very similar truck for a customer today, this morning. And uh, we put that on his, uh, on his spec. So that's what you get. And uh, with the 62, when the Diamond VIT order is ordered, you also get the diamond stitching on the back wall, also on the roof or the ceiling, whatever you want to call that.
All right, so that is it for me. That is it for this week's video. I sure appreciate you sticking around to watch it. And a big thank you to Zach uh, for putting your faith in me to spec out this truck and uh, put this into your fleet. Uh, glad to have you back as a customer. And uh, hey, Mark, I hope you have a lot of fun putting all the chrome and uh, little bits that you bought off of our guys here to, uh, to install. Love to see the finished product. Uh, you can check out my social media sites where you'll see this truck featured in uh, in photo, in pictures. I'm hoping to get a few pictures on the drive out to Ontario tomorrow when I'm delivering it. So uh, it's going to be a busy day. It's going to be a long day. I hope to do some video too, uh, maybe some driving shots and uh, just kind of, of the surrounding area. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, check out my website, thekenworthguy.com. There's a link up here. Again, subscribe if you haven't done so. And we will see you next week, which is the last video before Christmas. It's coming out on Christmas Eve day. So yeah, I'm pumped. Christmas is around the corner. It's gonna be fun. See you guys.